All right, guys, we're here at my hangar where I keep my pride and joy. The helicopter. It's an A-Star 350B3, and it's a actual new purchase for me. It's really fast, and it's absolutely my favorite way to travel. But that's not why we're here. I had a supercar that I ordered sight unseen without actually sitting in it. Now I've sat in a lot of cool cars, but I've never sat in an AMG GTR. I really wanted one and I bought one and I had it delivered here. Now I have seen it. It would be stupid to say that I haven't seen it, but I haven't sat in it yet and I haven't driven it. And I'm fairly nervous as always that I'm not gonna fit in it, which is gonna be a horrible, horrible thing. So that's why I got the camera here to make sure if it doesn't work out, you guys laugh at me about it. I'll tell you this, I'm 6'3", 310 pounds. I don't fit in a lot of cars, but I am so, so hopeful <laughs> that I'm gonna fit in this one. Now, this looks cool, but come check out the car. All right guys, so we're here with the AMG GT-R. I gotta be very, very specific about the R because there is an AMG GT-C, which is also a wonderful car, but it's not the same package performance or handling as the GT-R. This car from the factory was set up to be a race car. It's comfortable, but this has more horsepower, better handling, better aerodynamics. This car was made to do nothing more than to be fast on the racetrack. And if you know anything about the Nuremberg racetrack in Germany, you know what this car is capable of. If you don't, you need to check it out. Realistically, there was only about 750 of these made. So these are really, really hard to find. A lot of people can find an AMG GTC, but Finding the AMG GTR is very, very hard, especially when you spec it out the way that I did and you want exactly what you see here. Now, here's one thing I do want to show you. I love white and black colors, mostly because I'm colorblind, but this is a pearl white. It is so beautiful. Underneath these LED lights, it changes colors. It almost has like a purple hue to it. But the cool thing about the GTR is all of these carbon fiber pieces that kind of go all the way around the car that are for the track and being aerodynamic. These wheels are beautiful. They're stock. If you know me, you know I'm not gonna keep any stock anything. So those will be changed very, very first. The second thing we're gonna do is we're gonna get a ceramic coat on it, make sure it looks beautiful. We're gonna tint the windows and most likely we're gonna change those badges from chrome to all black, like black and white. Now, I wanna make a note about this. Come all the way in here. Look at these brakes. Now, from what I've been told, with the caliper and everything, this whole brake setup is almost $30,000, which is perfect because it's gonna take a lot of braking to get my fat ass to slow down anywhere. The cool thing about the GTR is you have carbon fiber all throughout the entire car, both on the hood, the mirrors, the actual spoiler. And if you come all the way around here, this is the most beautiful part. Look at this. There's the badge that tells you it's real. The GTR. I'm really excited to not only hear it, but I'm excited to see if I fit in it. So I think that's what's next. Let's get in and make sure that I actually fit in this car. All right, moment of truth. Ooh. That's definitely not going to work. So, hold on. I do have a series of how I do things. First, we go all the way back with the seat, all the way down, and then we go all the way up with the steering wheel, all the way back. Whew. 
Oh, 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 I fit. Oh my gosh, thank heavens. I was really worried about that. And this is not just for the camera. I genuinely was concerned I wasn't gonna fit in here. And that my big ass thighs were gonna hit the steering wheel because they always do. But uh, we fit. Now, I gotta see if the door will shut. I fit and I fit quite nicely. I feel very snug. I feel like I don't even need to wear a seatbelt. Man, this interior is unreal. The way the steering wheel is, all of these things. Now, I gotta show you this because this is the big, big difference for an AMG GTR and a GTC. See this? I got a traction control module that allows me to turn off traction control in stages. So if I'm racing at a dig from zero to 60, I want that traction control probably all the way on. I don't want to be slipping as I pull out of here at 60 miles an hour. But if I want to get crazy, I want to do a donut, I want to drift it, or I just want to peel out. turn this traction control all the way down. That is a big difference between these cars and the, uh, the GTCs. All right, now, as you see this interior, and it is beautiful, you have a screen, touch screen in front of you here, also an LED screen here, and this is kind of cool. It's a mouse pad, essentially, for you to control everything with an actual button. You have the shifter here, and on this whole entire console, you can switch between comfort, sport, sport plus, or race mode, which changes everything from power to exhaust, to suspension, to launch mode. And then of course, if I feel like I just wanna drive it around, which I will, cause this will definitely be a daily driver, I can turn it all the way into comfort mode. I imagine it's probably not way comfortable, but we'll see. You got carbon fiber dash, both here and here. You've got air conditioning, which is nice in a race car, even though that sounds really stupid. And if you look at these bucket seats, this is the signature AMG race seats. These things are awesome. And usually, they don't fit me. I've sat in a lot of Lamborghinis and a lot of Ferraris. I never fit in their bucket seats. But this seems to be really nice. This interior is unreal. And you know what? Oh, well. Most people know this about me, but if you don't, I like to have burritos like in the morning and then I like to put them in my console, let them get a little bit cooled off, maybe even a little bit stale. I know it sounds weird. And then I come for my afternoon snack. So, you know what? This is a great car. Now I'm just ready to get out and rip it. All right, well, it doesn't do any good to sit this beautiful car inside this. So it's time to go for a drive. I want to end with this. If you want to race a race car, if you want to fly a helicopter, if you want a crazy, crazy lifestyle, you most likely should be leveling up any way you possibly can. That's why I created Limitless Society, to allow you to chase your dreams like I am and show you it's really not that hard. It's time to drive. My dream car as a kid was a Dodge Viper and uh, the second that I got to sit in one, I was, I think I was 17 years old and I realized really, really quickly that that was no longer my dream car because it was way, way too small. So from then on out, I only tried to sit in any car that I was told was a bigger sports car or a bigger exotic car or super car. Um, and so from there on out, it was like anything German, uh, cause the Germans were a little bit bigger people. Uh, definitely no Lamborghinis or Ferraris cause those were smaller until recently. But, uh, as soon as I, I sat in an R8, I think I was 20, I was 21 years old. I sat in an R8 and it fit fairly comfortable. Um, 
I didn't get to drive it, but that's that became my my dream car. Then I bought one. Um, fell in love with it. I loved that car. That car was awesome. Had that car. Uh, I had to buy a Lamborghini because everybody buys a Lamborghini. So I bought a Lamborghini. Had it for like three weeks because it was just too small. Um, I. I've never bought a Ferrari because I feel like a Ferrari is for a small man with uh, that's light in his loafers. So I've never bought a Lamborghini or I've never bought a Ferrari. And then about four years ago, I bought a Mercedes Benz E63 S. It was a sedan, and I tu- all I did was tune it. And it was 750 horse, all-wheel drive uh, Mercedes Benz, and absolutely fell in love with everything that's engineered by Mercedes. It's their engineering is top-notch. Um, and from that point forward, my my dream car became that was three, four years ago. My dream car became this car right here. American songs about loving and freedom. Songs about me and you, American songs.